In the name of Jesus, for we are praying this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you are praying this morning when we spoke across the length and breadth of this nation, this morning, God, we can raise the name of Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, willing this morning to stop the life of somebody else, just for a ten thousand dollars, mighty God, the lives of men are worth the blood of a bird is worth more than the life of a man today. But God, we are praying this morning, oh my God, the Lord turn the Holy Ghost now over the land and breath of this country. Lord God, where we will become mighty God, more caring of this other almighty God. Spirit of the living God, we are praying out unto you this morning. Oh God. Father, oh God, I pray that you will set the conscience of men on fire. The Lord God, the Lord is wrong. Or when they have witnessed a wrong God, they will not turn a blind eye to it, Almighty God, but they will try to help Lord Jesus to bring about a peace to oh God. When we look, Lord God, at the life of your servant, Reverend Moon. Jesus listened for so many days, uh, and what it is now for both God, uh, he was involved in an accident, uh, and let's go down, Lord Jesus, no one wants to go to his help, uh, no one has an assistance, uh, but this morning, holy God, we are praying this morning, uh, that this American spirit will be our people are Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We're praying this morning, God, for bowls of compassion. Oh Spirit of the Living God. Bowls of compassion, Lord Jesus, to those who are in need. Morning, God, I pray, God, I go about my business, that I will not be so comfort, Lord God, in myself, that I will not see the eyes of someone that is crying out for help. This morning, oh God, give us bowels of compassion, that we shall, God, we will reach out to somebody that is hurting. Let's God, we are hurting people. Lord Jesus, keep me more office. Lord God, I pray, Jesus, that you will give me that spirit to deserve. Lord God, the hurts. Oh God, that even my employees are undergoing, that I will be able, Lord God, to reach out with a word of hope, with a word of comfort. I pray, God. Able to see me on the mask, the mask of a smile, spirit of God, spirit of God. This morning, we are calling on unto you, oh God, oh God, Lord Jesus, for help for a hurting generation, for help for a standing generation, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I pray this morning, I pray this morning, I pray this morning that God, oh God, we will, we will be so conscious, we will be cognizant this morning of the needs of others, oh God. This morning, this morning, Lord God, I am crying out unto you for help. I am crying out unto you this morning, Lord Jesus, don't let me pass a wounded soldier today. Don't let me pass a wounded soul today, God. Oh, Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, I present every faith walker this morning to you. Lord Jesus, morning after morning, we come on this platform. Oh, God, God. And sometimes we come with so many hurts, uh, so many baggages, 
God, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, and we come and we are, we are hoping that somebody's going to pick up what I'm going through, that somebody's going to speak and respond a word to my situation, even though I refuse from opening my mouth, I come with an anticipation that the Holy Ghost is going to pick me up. Don't send a word of me, but I pray this morning, God, that as we gather on this platform, we will not become fearful, but you will give us that spirit of boldness, that we will speak out, God, of the things that are bothering us, the things that are hurting God, so that we will be able to get help. Yes, Lord, you know what we are going through. But you are waiting on us uh, to open our mouths uh, like blind bartenders. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have mercy on me. You are waiting for that desperate cry. Send us to the help of us, God. But we refuse to be God. From admitting that it is not well. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, but I pray this morning, God, do a search on this platform this morning, Holy Ghost. Search on this platform this morning, Holy Spirit of God. Morning, you know the things of the heart this morning. Turn the search like Holy Spirit. And I pray, God, that the souls will come to the fore. Because you have doctors online, you have ready nurses online, with the bandages this morning to clean the world. God, mighty God, I pray this morning that we will not return the way we came. But God, we will press this morning. We will press through the throne this morning. The one with the issue of blood. He did not matter if he was stepped on. Her eyes were focusing on touching the hem of your garment. I pray this morning, Jesus, as you have moved through the on this morning, that we will touch the hem of your garment, and that healing will come, that deliverance will come. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, break through this morning, break through this morning, send help, God, send help. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, you know we hurt. You know we hurt this morning. You know we hurt this morning. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Help, Lord, help. Help, Lord, help, 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 help. Send help to a wounded soldier this morning. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, uh, open our eyes to know God uh, that if we look this morning, uh, there's a precipice with the Lord where we trust God. Uh, so I pray this morning uh, that we will hold on to the Lord us uh, Lord Jesus, uh, remind us this morning uh, that the darkest part of the night uh, is just before dawn. Uh, so I pray this morning, God, uh, that we will be rushing in our spirit, uh, that no matter what comes my way this morning, uh, I am going to trust you. I pray this morning, uh, Lord God, that somebody this morning, Father, will have their good children at least that can bend the whole spirit. Lord Jesus, because they will know God, they will not fearful of the king. Oh God, let them turn home to the king. Oh King, let Even if our God is not here, we will not go to you. We will not go 
Lord God, we are in a sleep now. Where we are hearing so many music. But I pray this morning that you will give us spiritual ears. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. My God, help this morning, help this morning, help this morning, help this morning, Almighty God, help this morning, Lord God, give us the pressing spirit, give us the pressing spirit, yes, God, and I'm coming on the wrong side of the mountain, my Lord God. You are dear waking. Oh God, for me to touch. So I pray this morning, Lord Jesus, that as I press this morning, the head of your garden. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. I don't know who he goes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you this morning. You did this morning. Lord, 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 Lord. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Help us not to lose hope. Help us not to lose hope. Help us not to lose hope. Because your God, your message, your position on the throne this morning. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Send a breakthrough this morning. Send a breakthrough this morning. Send help this morning. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Sicknesses and diseases are raising in the bodies of your children. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. But this morning, God, we are praying, God, for your healing virtues. Your word says, Jesus is a children's bread. Lord God, are we not your children? Oh God, oh God. This morning, this morning, Lord Jesus, we are praying that you will come forward. Come and dwell among us this morning. Come and dwell among us this morning. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, 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 I pray, God Almighty, that we, God, oh God, oh God, oh God, we will wait patiently for you. We will wait patiently for you. We will trust the living God. Oh God, oh God, our deliverance is in waiting. Our breakthrough is in praising. Our breakthrough is in worshiping. Lord God, Lord God, I pray this morning, Jesus. We will not look back from whence we came. Oh, we will not be this morning. I'm a dog to the vomit. And as a pig to the wall of this morning. But the Mary claim that you have pulled us out of God. We will strut along. We will push along. Knowing that if we thank that Almighty God, we will be rewarded. So I pray this morning, Jesus. That your hand of grace, your hand of mercy, mercy. extended this morning mercy, to every mercy. person that is in need on this platform this morning, God. Mercy. To every person this morning, Almighty God, that is waiting, Lord Jesus, to hear a word. Send that word this morning from home. Send that healing word this morning. Send that breakthrough word this morning, Almighty God. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that when God you would have come through for us, that Almighty God, we will be careful, Spirit of the living God, to give, give you glory, hope, to give you honor, to give you praise. Lord Jesus, whatever I fail to ask you this morning, I ask you, God, not to fail, not to fail to supply. Not to fail to come through this morning. Oh God, oh God, oh God. But I pray this morning for sufficiency. 
I pray this morning for something and for people. And for our God, that we will be grateful for what you have blessed us with. Oh, Spirit of God, Spirit of God, this morning I commit myself again to you. And I say, Lord, do what you will in me, with me, and through me. Let all praise Jesus. and all glory be directed to you this morning. Mighty God, I praise you, I praise you, I love you this morning. I glorify you this morning. Thank you, thank you, God, thank you. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, Lord Jesus, my heart is heavy, my spirit is sore. But though God is looking down this morning, though God is looking down this morning, mm -hmm. that is at the foot of the cross. <laughs> I God, thank you for Calvary. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning for the same blood of Jesus of Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Morning with blood. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Help us to make that plunge this morning. That plunge this morning. Spirit of God, I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you praise. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies. As I look to you this morning, as I look to you this morning, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God. Can we continue to pray this morning, children of God? Thank you. Thank you. Not get drunk, so we have time for praise. We have time for worship. So I just give somebody else a chance this morning. Hallelujah. Um, Pastor Nicole Maxwell Johnson, can you just do us some praise song this morning? And then after Pastor Maxwell, if you are available, after Pastor Maxwell, bring us into worship this morning. Welcome everyone to Faith, Faith Walk this morning. Welcome to the morning of prayer again. Hallelujah. I'm going to be asking Pastor Maxwell Johnson to lead us into some worship. And at the end of it, the next voice that you will be hearing will be that of Minister Valerie Wells, which will be bringing us the word of God this morning. And I pray that our needs will be met. I pray this morning that we will have a supernatural encounter with Almighty God. Over to you, Pastor Maxwell Johnson. Pastor Johnson, are you available? Pastor Maxwell seems that is there any is there another singer online this morning? Is there another service online this morning? That just wanna just bring us into some worship while Sister Sadie Burnett, your mic is open. Are you going to come in? No, no, sorry. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, I know Minister Valerie Welch will give us a song. Before she bring the word, the so minister Valerie, the altar is now over to you in care of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord, I glorify you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, you are great. There is no one else like you. You are God all by yourself. In you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. Praise the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. I glorify you, I honor you, I adore you, because you are God all by yourself, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. You are God. You are God and God alone. Hallelujah. 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 Is your own on the altar of sacrifice lay your life? Does the spirit control you? Can all be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as we yield him for bodies and soul is your own on the altar of sacrifice lay your life does the spirit control you can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul is your own on the altar of sacrifice lay your life does the spirit control you can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul. Jesus is the one. Yes, he's the only one. I let him have his way. Until the day is done, for when he speaks, I know the dark clouds will have to go just because he loves me so. Jesus is the one, yes, he is the only one, I let him have his way until the day is done, when he speaks I know. The dark clouds will have to go just because he loves me so. Standing somewhere in the shadows, you'll find jesus he's the only one who cares and understands standing somewhere in the shadows you will find him 
and you'll know him by the nail prince in his hands to be like jesus to be like jesus all i ask is to be like him all through life's journey from earth to glory all i ask is to be like Standing somewhere in the shadows, you'll find Jesus. He's the only one who cares and he understands. Standing somewhere in the shadows, you will find him, and you'll know him by the nail prince in his hand to be like jesus to be like jesus all i ask is to be like him all through life's journey from earth to glory all i ask is to be like him all i ask is to be like him. All I ask is to be like him. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Could I ask you all just to unmute your mic and let us give some praises unto the Lord? Hallelujah. I <laughs> 
Hallelujah. The one who loves me and the one I love. Hallelujah. I give honor to God who is the head of my life. And I salute the founders of this prayer group, namely Sister Mackenzie, who, as you know, her mom passed away and we are supposed to be here bearing her up in prayer. We thank God for giving her this idea where we can be on this platform, something to be thankful to God for. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. 
he is glorious he is honorable he is god all by himself hallelujah 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 we also greet prophetess let's my friend evangelist foster we go way back our bishops our pastors our ministers our evangelists our prayer warriors our intercessors our visitors we all fall into two categories this morning. We are brethren and we are sisters. Greetings, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a good thing for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Last Friday I was asked by Prophetess Les, who is a pearl of great price to share the word. You notice I said share, because that's exactly what I am going to do. I sought the Lord throughout the week, and so many times it came to me to change, but it, it was reinforced and it was confirmed. And I say, it's better for me to obey God than to follow my feelings because I can do nothing of myself, but I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He has been faithful all the way, all the way he has been faithful, all the way my savior leads me. What have I to ask this side? Can I doubt his tender mercies? whom through life has been my guide. Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, ere by faith in him to dwell. For I know what ere befalls me, Jesus doeth all things well. For I know what ere befalls me, Jesus doeth all things well. My trust and my confidence is in him because he promises never to leave me nor to forsake me. So whatever my situation is, I have learned to trust in Jesus and I have learned to trust in God through it all. Through it all, I have learned to depend upon his word. Indeed, he is a present help in the time of trouble. And I cast all my cares upon him. I lay all my burdens down at his feet. For when I don't know just what to do, I cast all my cares upon him. Hallelujah. It was on Wednesday that when Pastor Mitchell was preaching, he used the exact word or the text that I will be talking to you from. He quoted it. And it is Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And I here read from the Amplified Version. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and beg of you in view of all the mercies of God to make a decisive dedication to your bodies, presenting all your members and faculties as a living sacrifice, holy, devoted, consecrated, and well-pleasing to God, which is our reasonable, rational, intelligence service and spiritual worship be not conformed to this world this age fashioned after adopted to its external superficial customs but be transformed be changed by entirety the renewal of your mind by its new ideals and its new attitude so that you may prove for yourself what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 
even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. The word of the Lord, and I honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know if thou withdraw thyself from me. To whom else can I go? You are my refuge. You are my strength. And you are a present help in the time of trouble. Here I am, God, a willing vessel available to be used by you. I pray, O oh God, that you would anoint me to present your word this morning. I know it is already anointed, but God, I need to be anointed to present your word. I pray even now, God, that you would kill flesh, kill flesh in me, and let Christ arise, and let the enemies be scattered. I thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. I thank you that you are God all by yourself. All of the other gods, they are the works of men, but you are the most high God, and there is none like you. I thank you for shedding your blood on Calvary for me. And because of that shed blood, I have life and I can come boldly to the throne of grace. Knowing that it is not by my might, nor is it by my power, but it is by thy spirit, said the Lord. You are the mountain mover. Remove every mountain, every bondage this morning. Let the atmosphere be clear for worship, because that is what we are gathered here to do today, to give you worship. I doubt you not, God. I trust you. I trust you. And I will always trust you because indeed you are God. And I give you thanks and praise. And I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. My theme this morning is sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice. When you hear the word sacrifice, the first thought that comes to your mind is somebody being killed. But this morning, I want to point out that it is an act of slaughtering a person or an animal. It also means surrendering position as an offering to a deity. Christ is the greatest sacrifice. He came to this world and he was crucified. He was laid behind a stall. He gave his life freely for us that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Had it not been for the death of Christ this morning, our preaching would be vain. His death and his resurrection, he came here for that purpose and he fulfilled the purpose and then he left this world. All human beings make sacrifices we give up something valuable for the sake of others we have parents on this line this morning and all parents we all make sacrifices for our children and for our family so we have an idea what it is to make sacrifice Sometimes the last dollar that we have, we give it to the children. Sometimes the meal that we prepare, 
maybe it's not enough, but we would sacrifice ours and we would give it to them because they are our children and they are our responsibility. So sacrifice is always made in one way or the other. It is giving of self, giving us something that we is very dear to us. That is what we call a sacrifice. Sometimes we don't really have a thing, you know, but whatever we have, we give it. I remember my mother always say, if it is a mice, and I don't know if many people know mice or what, but it is a small animal. And she always said, if it is a mice, as small as it is, it has four quarters. Therefore, there is something that can be given from even a mice. Here, the Apostle Paul is asking us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Sacrifice is not something new. It is from the beginning. Knowing the word of God. In Genesis, sacrifices started way back. You remember when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden? An animal had to be slain so that their nakedness could be covered. An animal had to be sacrificed so that they could get clothing. So it started way back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me encourage us this morning to know and to be convinced that this life cannot operate with us making sacrifice and that sacrifice flows to others. It was the custom in those days for the priest to go and offer sacrifice for the sins of the people. And whether you were rich or you were poor, you had to follow this pattern. You might not have been able to give a lamb, but you had to make a sacrifice of even a little turtle dove. You had to make the sacrifice of an animal that it could be offered for the sins of mankind. But that sacrifice did not last forever because it was an annual thing that had to be done. And the animals that were presented had to be spotless. They could not have any blemish because it was typical of our Lord Jesus who came without spot or blemish and offered himself as a sacrifice for us to be redeemed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is such a good God. He cares for every area of our lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you know, if it was in these days with the cost of animal, we would maybe have problem to purchase animal to make the sacrifice so that we could be pure. But there was no necessity for that. After Jesus came and he gave his life, hallelujah, hallelujah, on the cross, the veil of the temple was rent in twain and granted us free access to the throne of God. So there was no need for any bulls or rams or any turtle doves because Jesus paid it all, hallelujah. And all to him we owe. 
stain has left a crimson stain. He washed us white as and snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now today, because of that access that we have through Christ, we are asked, hallelujah, hallelujah, to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Hallelujah. Freely, which is a reasonable service. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. We thank him for his mercy. We thank him for the, his mercy, which is compassionate and forgiveness shown to us. Nobody else could pay the price of sin. Because when the question was asked in heaven, who would go and die for Adam's fallen race? Nobody wanted to. But Jesus, hallelujah, he accepted it and he said, I will go and die to redeem sinful mankind. Because as people of God, we were made to worship God. That is supposed to be our responsibility to give God worship, to praise him. Hallelujah. We are asked to present our bodies as living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. First Corinthians 3, verse 16 and 17. Instead of sacrifices upon an altar of wood and stone, of turtle doves and lambs, we are asked to present our bodies holy unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We are commanded to yield our bodies as instruments of righteousness. Hallelujah. How are we going to do it? Hallelujah. We have to be holy. We have to be full of light. We must be the light to the world. Hallelujah. We must make it acceptable. We must be reckoned to be dead to sin and alive unto righteousness. We must refuse its slavery that sin offers. Hallelujah. We must mortify, kill the deeds of the body. We must refuse to defile our bodies, not even with the king's meat. Hallelujah. We must be free from fornication, adultery. Keep our bodies under subjection and under the control of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. How are we going to present do this presentation. Our bodies must be living sacrifice. We must be alive, but we must offer sacrifices. We must kill the flesh. We must kill the desires for the things of the world. We must kill self. Our pattern must be Christ-like. We need to follow his example to be like him in all our ways. Hallelujah. Our bodies are to be consecrated to God for a lifetime of worship and service. And to see, become instruments of righteousness as a temple of the Holy Spirit. He does not abide in unclean vessels. Our bodies must be holy before we tell the story because we are a temple of the Lord. Oh, praise his name. Hallelujah. 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 We are not to be conformed to the world. The world system, it is under satanic rule, and we are not to be subject to it. In John 12, verse 31, we are told, hallelujah, we must be built 
by human um, human wisdom, the values and attitude. We must resist temptation. Temptation will always come our way, but we must resist the temptation. Remember, Jesus himself was tempted by the devil. And if Jesus was tempted by the devil, so much more we will be tempted. Hallelujah. We must not conform to greed. Some of us too greedy. Some of us too red-eyed. Everything we see somebody have, we want it. No, no, no. We must kill that. That is a work of the flesh. And we must kill flesh. If Christ is to arrive, we must kill flesh. We must be willing to make the sacrifice. Depart from evil. Seek after righteousness. We must be governed with self-control. Control, control ourselves. And this will be done through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We must lay aside the garments that are stained with sin. And we must be washed in the blood of the Lamb. We must lay aside envy, hatred, vengeance, mighty God, lust, filthy language, ungodly entertainment, fashionable clothes that are immoral, drugs, intoxication, worldly companions who cannot walk together unless they agree. So if you walk with the ungodly, you will become ungodly. The word of God said, him that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We must not pattern the world fashion. We must pattern our life after God. The righteousness of God that is outlined in his word. Ephesians 5, verse 3 to 16. Come out. We have to learn to separate ourselves from the world. Come out from among them. Be separate and touch not the unclean thing. We must distance ourselves from the things of the world. We can't do it. Others before us have done it and others with us now are doing it. We must let our light so shine before men that they may see our good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. There it must be something within us to draw the ungodly to God. They are not supposed to be drawing us into their corner. We are to draw them to God. For he said in, this, in his word, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. He came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So while we are on repentance ground, we must be good examples. Hallelujah. Our lives must be transformed. Hallelujah. It must be transformed and it begins with the renewing of our mind. Renewed in of our mind. Let this mind be in you and me, which was also in Christ Jesus. If we have the mind of Christ, we would not try to hurt our neighbor. We would not try to be unkind. We would not try to be unloving. We would not try to be uncaring. Because when we look at Jesus himself, the pattern that he has set for us, he left the splendor of heaven, knowing his destiny, 
was a lowly hill of Golgotha, there to lay down his life for us. He is the perfect example. He went out of the way to save sinners. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He did not distance himself from them, but he associated himself with them to win them. When you look at the woman at the well of Samaria, Sychus well, and Jesus went right there to begin a mission. She became converted. She was enlightened that this Christian walk was not religion, but it's to be like Jesus, a follower of Christ. And she knew that she needed something. She came with her water pots, mighty God, to get water. But the water that she got was not in the well. I pray this morning that we will seek diligently after the things of God. Love not the world neither the things that are in the world. For if a man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We are here on a mission to win the lost. So the lost should not win us over. We should win the lost. When she had that encounter with Jesus, she went back home. And she declared it. She said, come, come and see a man who told me all things, whatever I did. Is not this the Christ? And these folks, they listened to what they, they heard her say, but they were not satisfied with that. They went to see for themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And coming to see Jesus, it made the difference in their lives. We as believers, we need to make a difference to the world. They must see Christ in us, which is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We cannot do the things that they do. They are watching us. They are looking at us. And they are there ready to condemn because they might not be believers in Christ, but they know how Christians must live. And sometimes we let down our gods when we should be standing up for righteousness, when we should be standing up for holiness, and be counted hallelujah the lord is depending upon us he has no hands but ours he has no feet but ours we are called on a mission hallelujah and we cannot let down this call hallelujah we must be like jesus we must fashion his example. Praise the name of Jesus. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Are we new in Christ this morning? Are we carrying in the same baggage? that we had in the world. We need to lay aside every weight and the things that would easily beset us so that we will be able to run the race, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ wants to renew us, renew our minds. And how with this renewal comes about, it will come through his word. 
many times, maybe after we leave this platform, we go home. We don't take any time off to pray. We don't take any time off to read the word. If we are babes, to be newborn babes in order for us to grow, we have got to read the word and we have got to pray. If we are believers, we need to dig deeper in the word and we need to seek after the empowerment of the holy ghost he will protect us he will help us he is our helper remember when jesus was leaving he said i go but i will send you the comforter and he will abide with you forever he will lead you into all truths and he will bring back things to your remembrance. This is something that I have proven. Many times there are things that I might forget. And I said, Holy Spirit, help me right now. Help me bring it back to my remembrance. And he does that. When you are sad, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort you. Yes, when you are saved, the Spirit of God comes within you. But then there is another level when you need to be baptized in filling of the Holy Ghost, a constant flow. They are two separate experiences. And we need especially in these days, to get deeper and deeper in God. When you go to measure in the water, you cannot stand at the edge of the seashore if you want to swim. You cannot swim from the edge. You have to launch out in the deep until you start to miss your balance, and then you can swim off from there. Some of us will love shallow ground too much. And what we come on this prayer line and hear, it is just for us to activate our feet and take it from there. Don't remain on shallow ground. Let the Holy Spirit control our lives. I have been on this platform from very long ago. And you can see the growth in individuals. There is growth in myself. It's as if I look forward to this session, like how I would look forward to my breakfast. Even sometimes I don't even look forward to my breakfast the way I look forward to this fellowshipping. And what I'm saying, I am not even seeing the individuals, but we can feel it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We can feel the fire burning within us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The story was told of a man, I think, it is slipping me a bit here. And when, oh yes, his mother was praying for him, this son. And, you know, he went away to university and nothing is wrong in being educated. Because let me tell you, the Lord called fools, but him don't keep us fool. We must grow. We must increase in wisdom, in knowledge, and in understanding. So when he came home from university, the mother who toiled so hard for, to put him through university, he came back home and she was looking forward to see him come back home. But when he came back, she realized that he was a changed person. He had adopted himself to the world fashion. 
and he was denying the power of God and denying that there was a God. Sometimes we do have children like that even today. But guess what? We cannot give up on them. And when you talk or we talk and we talk and we think we can't talk no more, talk to God for them on we knees. It is time for us as mothers to weep for our children, to carry them to God daily and just don't leave them up to themselves. We know that there is power in prayer. So all this mother did, she prayed. And on this visit, I'm sure she wanted to see a change in the sun. And the conversation went on. And in the night, the sun had an attack with Putik. I don't know if anybody on the line know what toothache is. It's not nice we have toothache. It's not something comfortable. It's pain you. But God allow the boy teeth to hurt him. And he started crying. But that opened the door for his mother to witness to him. Because he was there telling his mother, you can see how you know about Jesus. You can see him. And she was saying, I know I cannot see him. I remember the words that they said, are they that do not see him? And yet you believe that's what Jesus said to Thomas. So she said, I don't see him, but I feel him. I, I know what he has done for me. He has changed my life. He has made me over anew. I am transformed. So I know, although I don't see him, I believe in my God. And so when the tea take lick the boy, she took it up and she said to him, you said your feet, your teeth are hurt you. You have tea teeth. How do you know that you have two teeth? Because you feel, you feel the pain. So it is the same way. I don't know. I have not seen Jesus, but I believe, hallelujah, that he is Lord and he died to save me and I have accepted him. And that brought a change in the sun. God have a way of turning things around, you know. Many times I hear the concerns of parents about their wayward children and the prayers that go up. Continue to pray. God hears your prayer. But there are times when he says, wait. Because the person has got to be prepared to change. The wind blow it, we list it. We hear the sound thereof, but we cannot tell from whence it come or where it goes. So is every man that is born of the spirit. Hallelujah. We are made new in Christ Jesus. The spirit of God comes to indwell us. But because he is holy, we cannot defile this temple because righteousness and sin cannot abide in the same place at the same time. If God is God, we have to serve him. And if Baal is Baal, then we have to serve him. But we have to make a choice. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. There are so many individuals on the platform who are halting between two opinions, whether I must serve God or I must stay in the situation that I am and hoping that change will come. Where the word of the Lord tells us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and 
all the other things shall be added unto you. Who are you seeking today? It's either we are seeking God or we are seeking the devil. There is no in between. It is either God or the devil. It is either righteousness or unrighteousness. Remember, righteousness exalts a nation. And if it exalts a nation, it ex exalts an individual. But sin is a reproach to any people. Have you ever seen a person who once walked with God? How they looked when they were walking with God. And after they came out of the will of God, how they look, there is a vast difference. This morning, God wants us to be his temple. He wants to dwell in us. Hallelujah. He wants us to be a people set apart, called by his name. For he said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Our land needs healing. Our families need healing. Our church needs healing. Hallelujah. We are sick with what is happening in the world. And we know we need healing. We need a turnaround in this country. And it is good to know one hope that we have. We are being called to be ready for the rapture. Hallelujah. We need to be rapture ready. Because with the fulfillment of the word of God, we should not really make us fearful. But to be honest, at times we become fearful if we are really truthful. When we see what is happening, sometimes we become fearful. And then the word of God reminds us that we must turn our eyes and look up because redemption draw it near. This world is an uncomfortable world. And the times we are living in is so uncomfortable. I don't want to be left behind. I want to be a part, to be a part of the first coming up. Mighty God, hallelujah. I want to be ready. And it is my desire that each person on this line that we make ourselves ready for in such an hour when we think not the son of God is going to come and he's going to take his people home because he has prepared a place for us so that where he is we will be there also hallelujah 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 be ye also ready. Make the sacrifice. Whatever God is asking us to give up this morning, believers or unbelievers, give it up. Believers, let us not stand in the way of sinners. We cannot just love those who love us. We have to love those who hate us. If we just love those who love us, we are like the hypocrites. Hallelujah. But it goes beyond that. 
love those who hate us. If we are going to be counted worthy, we have to allow self to die in us. Because so many times we need to tell somebody, I am sorry for what I did. But the pride that is in us, which should not be in us, for God resists the proud, but he gives grace unto the humble. We need to resist the power to be proud. We must fashion ourselves after Christ himself. He was not proud. He came, he mixed with the publican and his sinners. Oh God, he was accused of being a wine bibber. He allowed prostitute to be washing his feet and to be drying it with her hair. But God, Jesus did everything possible to save a lost soul. Let us not ignore the responsibility that has, he has placed upon us. And we should remember too that we are the world's Bible. And when they read us, they should be reading Christ. We ought to be like him. We need to love him, not with part of our heart, but with our whole heart. That is what he has called us to, a life of separation. To come out from the world and to be separated and to touch not the unclean thing because he cannot deal with the unclean thing. Hallelujah. We are called to be a holy person, a holy nation, peculiar. So when somebody tells you, say, you're yeah, going funny, you're not going like anybody, everybody. It is a compliment. Don't look down on yourself. There is something in you. We are called to be the light of the world. We are called to be the salt of the earth. We need to give salt. And we need to shine. So in the darkest night, our lights must shine. You know, even like they have an insect, they call it, and they call it peeny wally. And even that little peeny wally in the darkest night, when the light shines, it reflects and it gives light. So no matter how small your light is, God is calling us to make that light shine. And the thing is this, when we used to have lamp, we still have it some because I have a home, home sweet home um, that I'm looking on right now where I am sitting. And when your light started to go down, you realize that the oil was getting less and less or the wick that was in the lamp you had to cut off it because um it became too hard and because of that the oil was not flowing in to give the light so the light became dull our lights must shine and if our lights are not shining let us go back to the original source so that our lights will shine. If you have a flashlight and current gone, if you have to walk around the whole house with it, you walk with the flashlight, it gives light you can able to see so you won't be stumbling in the darkness. Believe us, let us shine our light for the world to see. The world is in darkness and we need to shine our light so that they can see. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, the one who saved us. Christ is the word 
and he renews our mind. He renews also our vision. We start to see things differently. He renews our values, our plans, our attitude. They are all governed by God or they should be governed by God rather than the world temporal and deceptive pattern. There is light in the world, you know. I am not saying there's no light in the world. There is light, but it is temporal. It will not last forever. But we have the light that will last forever. Let it shine that the world will watch us burn. Hallelujah. By having a renewed mind and living a transformed life in Christ, we are able to test to prove and to affirm that God's will is good and desirable and perfect. Whereas Satan slanders God's will as being not good, undesirable and imperfect. But we know better. We know better that, the, that God's, what God has placed within us the thing that God has taken away from us, anything we give up to, for Christ's sake, we will get more in return. We must be willing to sacrifice. That is what the Lord is calling us to do this morning. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Let us not have our own way and our own will, but let us have the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Believers, brethren, as we are called, sistren, as we are called, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as living sacrifice. Living but dead, living in Christ, but dead to the world, a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service and my reasonable service. This is for one, this is for all. Believers know and embrace God's will as the highest and the best way for our lives. God's way. I want God's way to be my way. As I travel here below, for there is no other highway that a child of God should go. Though the way be sometimes drear, if he leads me, tis enough, I want God's way to be my way every day. I want, hallelujah, to remain under the shadow of the Almighty, to walk in his footsteps, to be the light that he has called me to be. For those who are in darkness, that they will be led to Christ. My motto is, others, Lord, yes, others. Let this my motto be, help me to live for others so that I may live for you. If we are not living for others, then we are not living for God.
let us put a check point on our lives today and see our position in God. If we are living the way that he wants us to live, if we are doing what he wants us to do, I want to live the way God wants me to live. I want to serve him. I want to live so that others may see and be led to know him. Whom to know is life eternal. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. As we continue to make our sacrifice, it will be worth it all. When we see Jesus, life's trials will seem so small. When we see Christ, one glimpse of his dear face, all sorrows will erase. So bravely run the race till we see Christ. Run. Don't stop running, run to obtain, run to receive. It will be worth it all. Father God, I want to thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your strength, which really is made perfect in my weakness. One more time, I have proof on you. And oh, for grace to trust you more. Keep me as the apple of thine eye. And let this word minister to us as believers and to unbelievers. Oh, glory to God, that our relationship with you will be different that we will dare to be a Daniel, that we will dare to stand alone and dare to have a purpose firm and dare to make it known, dare to be an Esther. If I perish, I perish, but I must see the king. Dare to be a root, entreat me not to leave thee, nor return from following after thee. For where thou goest, I will go. We are the largest I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. And thy God shall be my God. Oh, glory to God. I praise your name, God. You have chosen us. You have called us. You have invested much in us. Help us, God, to be true to you. Though a thousand voices from this world may call, it is he who died to save us. He demands our life, our loyalty, and our all. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Over to our mother. To be like Jesus. To be like Jesus, all I have is to be like Him. To be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I have is to be like Him, my God, to be like Jesus. To be like Jesus, all I have 
is to be like Him. All true lies turn from hurt to glory. All I have is to be like him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, people of God, let me greet you all. But at this time, we are going to pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray together. You know, as a woman of God, she was ministering this morning. All I could say is, Lord, what are the sacrifices I'm making for you? You, you? you have done so much and still doing so much for me. But what is it that I'm truly doing for you? Is it that I'm, am I doing enough, God? Lord, I want to be like you this morning. At time, uh, at this time, faith walk, we're all going to unmute. And if you're not able to unmute, I want you to pray right there in that room, wherever you are at this time. I want you to just pray and ask the Lord, Lord, help me to be like you this morning. More of you and less of me. Go ahead, people of God. Go ahead and unmute your mic and let us pray together. When we pray together, some things that we can accomplish, mighty God, your prayer strengthen me and my prayer strengthen you this morning. Mighty God, I need you. I need you. I need you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I think a few more persons can unmute. Go ahead. Go ahead this morning. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. We are grateful oh, for the women of God that you lead us to Martin. Oh God, minister to our souls, God Almighty. We pray that you, God Almighty, to come to bless her. Father God, hear us the word, God Almighty, that came this morning. So, oh God, come on the sacrifice. Mighty God, I pray this morning that has made this sacrifice to you. I'm 
if you're if you thought so if that is not jesus Amen. only alone Hallelujah. going to heaven sorry if you thought so my god all of us the lord said i'm coming to take the church from the church so a little from here and there i can tell you that because it's not everybody that we see up there saying god 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 are going and he's gonna say depart from me i know you not you're prophesying my name yes you're healing my name. I hear you speaking in tongues. I see you giving to the poor, but the heart never ready. The heart never ready. Is our heart right with God this morning? Is our heart right with God this morning? I know many of us are represented on this line, and it's a good thing that you signed in with your name and you did not sign in with your organization. My God, because I know many persons will come on this line and count and say, let me see how much AFB they hear. Not too Lady Maxwell. Let me see how much Think Shop they hear. And they will come and they will stray. But I'm so happy that we are hiding. We are, we are, you know, we don't have the banners of the name, the tags of our, our churches. My thing, and let us see some of the Adventists there. What? Then they hear. No, oh, my God, I'm happy that we are not doing that this morning. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord this morning. I pray that the sacrifices that you are making will not be in vain. Will not be in vain. Each time I always say, going to heaven is like going to St. Mary. I don't know how much the road is bad. No, I don't want to talk too long because I want my husband to carry me up there. But going to heaven is like going to St. Mary. The road is so bad. But people of God, when you reach there, I can tell you, you'll be so excited. You're, you're happy for your journey. Long, you know, and it bad, rocky. And as a matter of fact, just like Jamaica Road. My God, it rocky. It bad. Sometimes you have to take out the load and, and say, no, man, I can't cross. I can't climb this hill. Some people have to come out. My God, some of the things that we have on us, we need to take them out because these are the things that are holding us back and let us can't make it and uh, they are holding us back some of us we can't make it because of these heavy things that is um in us my god some heavy things that are in you people of god this morning i pray we all be ready <laughs> firing road bad to war Hey, don't call me pastor. <laughs> My God, Farid road bad to what you're saying. I've been to the good part. But you see it all up there, bad to. So going to heaven. My God, it's really bad, you know. It's really long. It's really bad. It's bumpy, bumpy at times. But we will make it. With Christ in the vessel, we all can make it. We all can make it. May the life I live speak for me. If I could just stress, just stress on that every morning. May the life that we live speak mm -hmm. for us. May the, don't go there and point at nobody and say, Nicole, I'm not living a life because she in a, she in a here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that. It's not about that. She wear a wig. No, while we look at her wearing her wig, my God, the, 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 the person that you're eating. I don't know where am I going this room this morning. My God, my God, let us not have that as our focus. Let us not do that as our focus this morning. I, I just thinking about the word that the woman of God just minister. The sacrifices that we are making make sure this morning oh god almighty those sacrifices you're waking up early in the morning and it's in, it, it is in vain you're preaching and it is in vain oh dear sister let's come on and open prayer line and when she don't she don't make it that's what, look at those that's what i want i want to make it I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of the kingdom. I want when the Lord come, mighty God, I go with him. Oh, when I hear about heaven, oh, God almighty, it's not for the milk and riding on the cloud alone. When I was a child, I used to think about the milk and the nice milk and the riding on the cloud. But no, no, I get so much. I want to go there and worship and see my maker. My God, make sure the life that you live please is pleasing unto almighty god it's not the wig it's not the pants mm -mm. wrong motive is the life mm -hmm. because while we are pointing on the pants wearing and mm -hmm. the big hat and the long dress some of us hiding under those things mm -hmm. my god my god my god my god my god my 
God, mighty God, this morning, Lord, of mercy, of mercy on us, God. We are hiding under the big title, mighty God, apostle this, pastor that, this and that and that, oh God Almighty. But the day is coming when God will say, depart from me. I know you not, people of God, you can live for God, made the life. Who oh, can you hide under the title me a pastor and a pastor you have no love prophet is less let's say you have no love in your heart for your brothers and your sister oh god almighty may the life i live this morning speak for me mighty god may the names that you give me represent me that's the reason why i keep on running from titles because i don't want the title the title and not the life i say god let them call me child of god if you come online and you say child, child of god Ch ch woman of God, I love that. I love when you when I when somebody texts me and say, Woman of God, I love it. I want you to speak that in my life because I want to represent Christ. I'm talking to the 57 of us online this morning. And if you are not there yet, come into this man. Choose God this morning. Seek ye first the kingdom of god oh what what lifestyle oh god what what is your reward is there a crown is there will there be any crown hallelujah are you gonna wear that crown this morning are you gonna receive the crown are you prepared for the crown mighty god mighty god deacon so and so you know live no life Brother, so and so, and you're not living no life. Sister, so and so, my God, and you're not living any life. Pastor, let's, sister, let's, oh God, minister, let's, and no life. My God, I'm calling my name because I don't want to call on nobody, and nobody stoned me through the, the laptop this morning. He apostle so and so, apostle, let's say you're not living no life. Oh God, take off the apostle and take off the, the, the bishop and make me live the life this morning. I'd rather to live the life to please Almighty God. I'd rather to live the life to please Almighty God than the big titles this morning. Make sure the sacrifices that you are made. Him, the Lord will say, well done to a good and faithful servant at the end of the day. Amen. At Amen. the end Amen. of the day, Amen. people so of true, God, so at the Amen. end of the day, after your prayer from morning from six to six, oh God Almighty, from five o'clock until now, oh God, make sure when, he, when you're through and we log off, the Lord say, well done the good and faithful server when you prophesy when you sing my god well done the good and faithful judith the good and faithful k the good and faithful um my not the oh, good man. and faithful maxwell the good and faithful anarchy make sure the lifestyle that you live when you're through with this god will say the good and faithful faith walkers my god my god the sacrifices that we are making hallelujah let them please almighty god so i'm gonna say this morning i don't know but i just feel it in my spirit this morning we are gonna pray a prayer of covering i know that a lot of times we stray I know a lot of times, you know, we come short. A lot of times some things are in our way, people of God, and we stumble. Oh God, somehow we will fall. We, 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 we drop, my God Almighty. We are like the woman this morning. Oh, some of us are like the woman who, who, who waiting to get the water. But God Almighty, I pray that this morning some of us will get that living water. Some of us will get that living. Oh God, a new touch this morning. A new touch. Are you longing for a new touch? A new touch. The songwriter said, touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. I want a new touch from God. I am I'm hungry for him this morning. God Almighty, I'm so thirsty. I'm so dry. The anointing that I had just five minutes ago, I want something more than that. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This morning, people of God, we're going to reach out and touch the Lord. I don't know if you need a double portion. I don't know if you want the Lord to fill you again. I don't know if you want the Lord to, to minister through you again. Mighty God, I, am t I, I, I don't want to come here online and say, I remember the days when I when the Lord used to use me. I want him to use me now. I want. I don't want to say in the 1985, my God, when the Lord used me and the Lord spoke to me and da da da. No, why God not talk to me no more? He malice me. No, I want the Lord to speak to me today. I want the Lord to use me today. I want to be a vessel. I want to be available to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can use anything, God, use Cass and Lex this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm available to you this morning, people of God. We are going to pray about that. I am I am tired of you. I, I, I was asking, just keep on asking for the material things. I want us to seek for the spiritual things this morning. Glory to God. Glory to God. When last you asked the Lord for the gift of faith? When last you asked the Lord for more love, for more kindness for your brothers and your sister? Oh, God Almighty, sometimes the enemy will want us to eat our brothers and sister, and you're wondering, God, so why me eat? Yeah, the enemy, you know, him put hatred in your mind. Sometimes when you hear a certain voice, you don't want to hear them because you get so annoyed. It's like you have this, this spirit, this, you want to just eat this person and you, and you don't even know them. My God, the enemy is resting upon you too long. My God, this morning we're going to seek the Lord. We're going to ask the Lord to come a little, come in more. Come in my heart, Lord. Hallelujah. We used to do this song at primary school, um, and I still love it. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come Lord. in. To my heart. Lord, you can unmute. You can unmute. Just not confuse the enemy. We're going to sing it together. I don't care how it sounds this morning. We're going to sing it this morning together. We're going to just sing it this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Sing the song this morning. Hallelujah. Come somebody this morning. The way you can sing this morning, Oh, my God. 
Almighty God, at this time, Brother Tyrone, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray over us this morning. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray for the people of God. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Brother Tyrone, go ahead and go ahead and pray. Tyrone Merchant. Mighty Hallelujah. God, God, mighty God. Father, Father God, I worship you, Lord. Father God, I adore you, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Father God, I lift up your name because you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. Father God, as I put each and every one before you this morning, mighty God. Father, you create us in your own image, mighty God. Father God Almighty, you give us oxygen in the air to breathe, mighty God. Father God Almighty, you take away the flesh from us, mighty God. Give us spiritual touch, mighty God. Father God Almighty, you give us spirit, mighty God, to worship you, mighty God. To connect to you, mighty God, because we cannot worship you by flesh, mighty God. Father God Almighty, touch each and every one on faith, walk, prayer line, mighty God. Father, touch every kids of every family on faith, walk, prayer line, mighty God. God. I lift them up before you this morning, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, lead us in the way we should go, mighty God. Direct our path, mighty God. Our presence, mighty God. Our future, mighty God. Because, mighty God, you know our future, mighty God. No one knows our future but you, Lord God. No one knows our destiny but you, mighty God. No one knows our desire but you, Almighty God, Father God Almighty, your oh God, cover us and our and their blood, mighty God, anoint us afresh, Lord God. Father God Almighty, let we praise you, mighty God, because when we praise you, mighty God, you lift us up, mighty God. Father God Almighty, your oh God, let mighty God, you send your God to prepare a praise for us, mighty God. Father God Almighty, your oh God, because you're coming back, mighty God, for your people, Lord. Father God. God Almighty, you are coming back, mighty God, for the righteous, mighty God. Father God Almighty, oh God, you send your disciples, mighty God.
mighty God. Father God, to teach us, mighty God, your way, mighty God. Because our way, mighty God, cannot enter your kingdom, Lord. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let we take heed, mighty God, to your word, mighty God. Let we do your will, mighty God. Let we bind together in one accord, mighty God. Forward still is Jehovah's will, mighty God. Mighty God, almighty, oh God, we worship you, mighty God. God of Jacob, mighty God. God of Shadrach, mighty God. Meshach and Abednego, God of David. God of Daniel, mighty God. You are the Alpha, mighty God. The Omega, Lord. The beginning, Lord. And the end, mighty God. So I put forth each and every one to you, mighty God. Cover their steps, mighty God. Cover their going out, their coming in, Lord. Father, anoint them afresh, mighty God. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, mighty God. Father God Almighty, where you lead us, we will go, mighty God. Where you lead us, Lord, we will follow, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, any sickness of anybody on prayer line, mighty God, I bind it and bound it, Lord God. Father God Almighty, and anything we bind on earth is bound in heaven, Lord. And anything we loose on earth is loose in heaven, Lord God. I call upon you this morning, mighty God, for coverage, Lord. I call upon you for a night of fresh, Lord. I call upon you, mighty God, for the Holy Spirit, mighty God. Anyone that have the Spirit, mighty God, connect them spiritually to you, Lord God. Connect them, mighty God. Father, connect them like all the devices connected this morning, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I lift up your name. I honor your name. I worship your name, mighty God, because you're worthy to be praised, mighty God. Father God Almighty, your hand is not short, mighty God. It can reach anywhere, mighty God. You want it, mighty God. Father God Almighty, you created the herbs of the field, mighty God. Father God Almighty, you created the trees of the herd, mighty God. And you call them healing trees, mighty God. Healing fruits, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you created the heaven and the earth, Lord God. Father God Almighty, cover us on your blood. Anoint us afresh, Lord God. Anoint us afresh, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord God. Father God, we love our neighbors, mighty God. Yes. Father God Almighty, oh God, we love you, Lord God. You said, mighty God, the heaven and earth, mighty God, shall not pass, mighty God. Father God Almighty, oh God, anoint us, Lord God. Anoint us afresh, mighty God. Anoint us afresh, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any business plans, mighty God. Anyone on faith for prayer line have this morning, mighty God. Bring them forth to it, Lord God. Father God Almighty, because you said by the sweat of our brow we shall eat bread, mighty God. Father God Almighty, oh God, let your people, mighty God, cover them, mighty God. Bless them, Lord. You say we shall not eat bread alone, mighty God. Hallelujah, praise God. Father God Almighty, oh God, as I put everyone before you this morning, mighty God. Father, cover them and they're going out, mighty God. They're coming in, Lord. Cover their journey to work, mighty God. Father God Almighty, cover the children in school, mighty God. Father, the warfare is out there, mighty God. The battlefield is out there, mighty God. And we have to fight it in your name, mighty God. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, name, mighty God. So, Father God, put on the whole armor, mighty God, around us, mighty God. Put on the shield and buckler around us, mighty God. Because, mighty God, we have to have our bulletproof vest, mighty God, to go out, mighty God. We have to have the sword, mighty God. We have to have the sword, mighty God, to fight the buckle, mighty God, of you, Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Father God, I call upon you this morning, mighty God. Father God Almighty, O oh God, touch with Sister Winston, mighty God. I haven't heard her voice in months, mighty God. Father, anywhere she is this morning, mighty God, touch her, Lord God. Touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, mighty God. Hallelujah, praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. 
Anoint us afresh, mighty God. Anoint us, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we need you no more than ever, Lord God. We need you no mighty God more than ever, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you say when you're coming, mighty God, we shall see sign and wonders, mighty God. And Father God, the way of the world is going right now, mighty God. We have to look up, mighty God, because redemption joint now, mighty God. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Father God, cover us under your blood, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, the devil is waiting for us to slip up, mighty God. But Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, Circle us, mighty God. Circle us, mighty God. The angels who in camp round about, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, let we let our thoughts, mighty God, be your thoughts, mighty God. Let our ways be your ways, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God. Any little thing we see that is not of you, mighty God, we shout out, Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, we bind and bound, Father God Almighty, O oh God. We call upon you, Lord, because you are the saving grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise yes. God. You are the saving grace, mighty God. Yes, Hallelujah. Are. Hallelujah. You are the saving grace of our life, mighty God. Father God Almighty, O oh God, touch us, Lord. You part the Red Sea, mighty God. Father God Almighty, O oh God. Father, you put the serpent on his belly, mighty God. And Father God Almighty, and tell the serpent, mighty God, that he shall eat us, mighty God, for his mighty God and faithfulness, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, until death, that serpent, mighty God, shall eat us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we bind the serpent, mighty God. We bind what is not of you, mighty God. And we consider it done in your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In your name, Lord. Cover us under your blood. Cover faith to our family. And have your way, mighty God. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the blessed Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 glory to God. We look to you, Abba Father. Hallelujah. You can live for God. Hallelujah. Um, 55 of us know you. I can live for God. I can live for God. I can please God Almighty. What can separate you from the love of God this morning? Hallelujah. Let nothing separate you from the love of God. Hallelujah. Let not a husband, not a wife, not a child, not at the workplace, not in the taxi that you go, my God, not even your church family. Hallelujah. Because sometimes they are like there. Hallelujah. But let nothing separate you. Let not even yourself this morning, because sometimes we, you know, think some negative things, but let not nothing separate you from the love of God this morning. This is the time, people of God, where we need to pull closer to God. We need to pull closer. Yes, my brothers and my sisters, you need to pull closer, nearer to God. The songwriter said, nearer my God to thee. Hallelujah. And the Lord sometimes wants to do some things in our lives, people of God. But because we, you know, we're stuck in our own little selfish ways my god that don't please god almighty and we can't get our reward we can't get our breakthrough we can't get miracles sometimes because we are stuck in our sinful ways mighty god we are hiding under the name christianity but Lord God, have mercy on us this morning. My God, even when you don't feel like you've done anything wrong for people to see, I, you know, I repent. Even when I don't, when I feel like all is well, I say, God, clean me up. 
wash me, purge me, cleanse me. Because at times we do come short, but people of God, we can. That's the reason why Jesus Christ went on Calvary's cross for you and I, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Live a life to please your God. Live a life to please Almighty God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God this morning, my brothers and sisters, and you will receive that kingdom. My God, Lady Winsome is here. Mighty God, and she has been silent. I just text her. Lady Winsome, do you have anything to say before we go? My God, or anybody on the line this morning, you will want to say anything before we go this morning. Let us live a life. Let us live a life. Let us live a life so that the unsaved <clears throat> will see the life, so that the family member members that you are praying for will give their life to God Almighty, will surrender their all to him. I know that is not everybody's going to be saved, not everybody, but let the, let the life, let the, 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 the things that you do represent God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful for the word this morning, woman of God, Lady Vary, sacrifice. I was on another um line this morning and when i came on i heard you just saying the word sacrifice i don't know if that was the topic but that's what i got this morning sacrifice 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 the sacrifice the, the the sacrifice that you make let each and every one of them please almighty god hallelujah god bless you faith to our god lady Danary, do you have anything to say to us before we go lady nicola as the chain is right here, bless the Lord. And remember, later on, people of God will meet on prayer cell. Today is Friday already. <laughs> we meet on prayer cell and with the man of God, Pastor Chin. And um, we continue to pray up their ministry. Mighty God, as they grow, and tomorrow morning, prayer bells with um, Lady Jasmine, Dr. Rose, um, we'll link their prayer cells and prayer bell, prayer bells tomorrow, and prayer cells later on. Mighty God, and we pray that you will gain strength and knowledge in this season, and you will grow. What a wonderful um, night it was last night. Um, thank you so much for your love and your continued support on WIN, Woman woman of Power, Improving. Mm -hmm. That WIN, I call it WIN still. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And thank you guys so much for you know supporting Lady Nicola Maxwell. Um, in that ministry. And I know many of you that came on last night, you were really blessed. And we say growth in the name of Jesus as we continue to win for Christ. You know, hallelujah. May the Lord continue to bless and keep you. It's now 842 here in JA. And we are going to close the line. Lady Donnery, did you say anything? Good morning, Good morning prophetess. I just want to encourage us um, as believers you know, just to continue to make your daily sacrifice to God. Because I don't know, like the persons who are in the Mandeva region, I saw the Lord um, showed me this morning where there is an occult church that is rising up and the man is laying hand upon people, but it's, the gifts are stolen. Please, I implore, implore you not to visit unless the Lord tell you where to go in this season because many persons are operating on the mantles that they have stolen. A lot of gifts, and I was just contending with that spirit that wanted to take my gift, wanted to take my eyesight, and wanted to take my gift. Very, very, very um popular person in Mandeville. Just be very careful and be vigilant because you would not want to go leave from here and go into another bandage because you're seeking God. Make your daily sacrifice. Know God for yourself in this season. Find a church that is saying God. Let God direct you. Ask him for discernment because many persons are prophesying, are speaking over your life, are praying for you, and you are seeing the miracles, but they're not of God. Their hands are not clean. I've been contending with these pastor for, the, for a few months now, and the Lord showed me another one a few minutes ago. Please, people, I encourage you, stay steadfast in God. Know God for yourself. Sell out your heart, your mind, and your body, and your soul to God. Oh, because a person that don't make sacrifice, 
and is operating in a spirit it is meant of God. Because a priest needs to make their daily sacrifice, whether it be in fasting and prayer and the word. And a person that don't want to make sacrifice or go through anything to walk in such dimension is a spiritual thief. I'm sorry to say that. Just be encouraged and stay in God. Bless you all. Bless the Lord. Um, Lady Winsome. Can you just read the prayer line? Or oh, the thing that you sent me was an old name to drop in now. Did you win some? <laughs> Are you here? Are you here, Mr. Faith Walkers? Yes. Yes, Mr. Faith. Yes. Okay. Is she still here? Lady Winsome, can you just say hallelujah and let us close or something the people of God are seeking for you? Still want to hear you, still longing to hear you. That's the Lord. Okay, I <laughs> see you, Lady Valerie. It's <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> okay, she's... 